Welcome back. This is Brielle from Healing Oaths. We're here for the collective reading for the week of June the 7th to the 13th of June. We're going to be using the I Ching Oracle cards and there are 64 cards in this deck. We have also our book with the additional information that we will need and our beautiful cards. Before we start, I would like to let you know that I have a giveaway. I have a Himalayan salt candle holder and this is still of course brand new in the box and sealed. And I have blessed this to bring good health to anyone that is the winner because as we know Himalayan salt is good for providing the feeling of of energy it removes negative ions from the air as we use it it aids in sleep it improves our mood so I'd like this to be a blessing to one of my subscribers so to win this I ask that you go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications as I will start doing more readings coming up. I've done been doing the weekly readings. I also have an Instagram, and the Instagram is healing, H-E-A-L-I-N-G underscore oaths, O-A-T-H-S. And I ask you to also follow that Instagram and tag two of your friends within this post for this reading. I'll be looking in the next week and this is open to any of you that are in the EU, any EU country and of course this is a gift so I'll be providing the shipping to you and send your gift out. So please go ahead like subscribe this video visit my Instagram and, and notification bell, visit my Instagram and follow as well as leave a comment tagging two of your friends and I will be picking a winner on next week Sunday during my video before the reading. So here we go. We're going to ask for the three cards for this week for the collective reading for the week of June the 7th to the June the 13th. And we have the I Ching Oracle card. The first card will be about the energy from the past that will affect this week. The second card, the current energy. And the third card, the message that Spirit has for us. I've said my prayer and appeal to my and your guardian angels, spirits, guides, saints, and ancestors so that the message may be able to resonate and help as many people as possible. This is all about guidance. This is all about enrichment, encouragement, and enlightenment. And again, please, if you have any, any requests for different types of readings that you think I'd like to do, or any feedback, please feel free to let me know in the comments below, or again, on my Instagram, which is healing underscore oaths. And here we go. Let's see the messages that they have for us for this coming week. first card we see is a little bunny and he's actually looking behind him to see what is behind him we then have what looks like a forest and we then have it actually looks like this one actually looks like it might be a mountain a mountain maybe so what I'm going to do is we'll take out our book and see what it means. I have looked at the I Ching before using coins and of course using the book to interpret because I can't say that I've memorized any of it. I had looked and uh, used the I Ching many years ago, probably about maybe six or seven years ago. I used to divine with the I Ching regularly just for my day-to-day -day use 
once a week to look to see what I can expect and how I should best manage. And I found it a, a very good divination system. So what we're doing is looking for the energy from the past. And that is our little rabbit. Here we're finding out that it says from the past, it says preponderance of the small is the message for this card. It says above the thunder and below we have the mountain. Thunder on the mountain is a call to awareness. And this speaks about the energy from the past and tells us great success comes not only through monumental acts, but also attending to small matters with the same dedication and attention. Thunder itself cannot change the mountain, but its presence speaks of changes to come nonetheless. Attention paid to seemingly inconsequential things may prove vital to success. Observe right behavior at all times and offer courtesy to all beings, however lowly. So we did speak about in our past readings in the past few weeks about our refining, about our togetherness, asking for help, being helpful and congenial with others as well as, of course, attending to what it is we're doing, whether it is our work, our own business, our studies, so that we can succeed. Our next card for this week's current energy, we see is progress. So this week is the week we will be making progress from the energy where we did pay attention to the small things, where we collaborated, where we assisted and asked for help from others and we did so with integrity we now have made progress above is the fire below is the earth fire over the earth a leader arises sunrise brings the new day and progress can be made as the light increases in the same way an undertaking can profit from an emergence of a new leader who shines light on the dark places this may be a person whose influence endures as the sun reigns in perpetuity, or it may be as fleeting as a shooting star that flames across the sky and is gone. Seize the opportunity to advance. This is telling us that this week there are opportunities for us to progress. We need to, after we are preparing, we know what we want. We have moved forward with integrity and determination. Now we will be able to find the opportunities, so let's keep an eye out for them so that we can make that progress. And also, it says that we have the opportunity to have influence that endures, or it could be fleeting. So we need to make sure we seize the opportunity and we make the best of the opportunity so that it will endure for us. What we have to ponder for this week to ensure that we success, we have success, what we need to think about, what we need to focus on is deliverance. This card shows above is thunder and below we have water. Thunder above water, the rains come at last. As the thunderstorms clears the air and refreshes the earth, so it is when troubled times end and deliverance is at hand. Release from pressure allows sorry, release from pressure, allows a return to everyday life with a renewed sense of gratitude. Attend to necessary affairs with all possible speed as good fortune approaches. This again speaks about the success we've been seeing coming in the last few weeks. The success is here. This is confirming to us the success is here and that we need to make sure that we keep our eye on the prize. We need to move forward with our plan because we have been specific in what we wanted we have been detailed in what we wanted and we have refined it and we have made sure that we've done it with all good intent so we need to be grateful for it we spoke about gratitude in the past also that's a message that spirit gave us so again this is the week where we start seeing our success and how we deal with it and how we work with it will determine how long it will last for us may we all know the blessings in our lives of health love, happiness, peace, stability, prosperity, and progress. And again, thank you for joining me. Please join again on next Sunday when we have the message for the collective for the next week. This was our reading for the collective for the, 20, the 7th of June until the 13th of June. And again, 
Remember, we have our giveaway, our Himalayan salt lamp to help us with our health and also our, our, our mood and make sure that we have a positive energy in the air around us. So please go ahead, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for my videos here on my YouTube channel. And then visit me, Brielle, on Instagram at healing underscore oats. Go ahead and follow, comment, tagging two of your friends within your comment, and I'll be returning next week with the name of the winner, and I will promptly contact you by DM and send out your gift. So thank you again for joining me, and have a beautiful week.